Hey everyone, it is Pal Ponder on Weather, uh, coming to you with my winter outlook of 2019-2020 uh, part two. I'm pretty excited about bringing this to you today. I spent a lot of time on it. Um, if you like weather-related content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And also, um, if you like this video and comment, uh, leave your city and state, and I'll be sure to personalize a forecast just for you for the winter months. All right, so let's kind of uh, delve right into it. Here's an overall snapshot of the precipitation outlook that I think how it's going to play out for meteorologically winter is basically from December 1st all the way through February 29th. <laughs> yes, we have leap year this year, so we did an extra day of winter. Uh, it's over 90 day span. So uh, this is kind of a summary how I think it's going to play out. So let's zoom in to the northwest areas of the United States, and you can find where I'm thinking where we're going to transition from that El Nino to the Enzo neutral pattern that we did on August the 8th. We're going to be a below normal uh, precipitation for the Northwest, like areas of Washington, uh, Oregon, and Idaho, and well below normal in parts of California where you're still going to continue to dry out and you'll have no relief in sight. We'll have a pocket of below above average normal precipitation for uh, Montana and the South Dakota region, and a little bit slightly drier than normal as we extend southward into Wyoming, U Utah, and Nebraska area. So I'll be flipping to the next side where we go into the Texas region where these, the Southern region has seen well above average uh, rainfall, you know, 20 plus inches above normal for the year. So we're gonna start to dry out. Um, like for example, in the Dallas area where we average 7.38 inches over that 90 day and span of December. So I'm thinking maybe six inches, you know, so not like we're gonna get any rainfall. <laughs> so those areas like in Texas, we're gonna be a little bit drier than normal, like in Oklahoma and all of Texas. So if we expend it out to the wetter than normal region of the southwest, um, southeast, where parts of Alabama and South Carolina, North Carolina, parts of Kentucky and Arkansas, all those areas are going to be wetter than average. And then a pocket of a little bit below average where they're seeing a lot of the tropical features uh, into Florida over the next couple of months, um, that's going to uh, die down and you're kind of normalizing there. And then as we extend out to the northeast, where we're going to be slightly wetter conditions up into the main of the foothills of uh, Rhode Island and, uh, you know, Connecticut, New Hampshire, all those states in the northeast. And again, we'll see slightly below normal uh, precipitation for parts of Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Idaho, and Wisconsin. So if we go to the temperature forecast, this is kind of an overall setup how I think winter is going to play out for as far as temperatures is, is concerned. So again, let's zoom in to those areas of uh, feature into the Northwest where I think we're going to be above average temperatures where we're going to get that high latitude blocking uh, with the solar minimum. And we're going to have that jet stream dipping where we've seen above average well record temperatures in Alaska, which I think is going to continue. And as that trends ends down, you're just going to miss out as um, on the cooler area, cooler pattern of, of in the Northwest. So places like Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Idaho, California, Utah, I think all of those areas of the West Coast is gonna be above average temperatures. And there's gonna be a pocket of slightly below normal temperatures into the Texas region of uh, Texas, Oklahoma, you know, like I'm thinking, you know, like for example, that some of the analogs that we're, I'm going to be basing this off of 2013, 2014, 2014, 15 winters and 78, 79. Um, those years we had above average freezes, say for example, in the Dallas area where we, we uh, averaged 33 freezes a year. Those, uh, those analog years, we had 40, 49 and 55 those years. So I'm thinking we're going to be slightly um, above average as far below normal as far as uh, temperatures is concerned for those regions and then a little bit more below normal and the pockets of uh, Kansas and uh, Jefferson City area in Wichita um, and a little bit uh, even more below normal um, as we get these Arctic intrusions fil filtered down into Des Moines area of Nebraska uh, Wyoming area so if we swing down to, down to the southeast again where I just think those cold fronts are just going to make it that far south again in Florida, you're going to miss out. So above average temperatures for you guys, but again, slightly below for areas of the uh, South Carolina, like Savannah area, Virginia, all those areas, a little bit more further below normal for um, Virginia, all the way up in to the East Coast, like in Pennsylvania, New York, and we're going to have those clipper systems. But again, a pocket of well below normal temperatures of, you know, possibly 20 to 30 degrees below normal at times into, into Des Moines and Idaho, 
um, into the upper upper uh, Midwest region. And then there's the coldest area is going to be pockets of Minnesota and the Dakota regions where you could be 40 degrees below below zero at times where you get those massive Arctic intrusions like you saw in 2013, 14, 14, 15 years. All right. So as we expand the view to the summary of the snowfall map, which everybody you know is really looking forward to, um, hey, it's going to snow in my area. So this kind of be a, a snapshot of how this I think is going to play out over those 90 days of winter. So again, let's zoom into the northwest, where I'm thinking it's going to be slightly below average again. So you're just going to miss out of everything this year for the northwest areas, uh, places like again Oregon, Washington, Iowa, Idaho, California, Nevada. All those areas I think are going to be slightly below average this year. Near normal can do snowfall for areas like Colorado, New Mexico, parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, Illinois, Nebraska. And as we zoom down to the Texas region and some of the southeast states where we experience for say 1.7 inches of snowfall in Dallas, I think we're going to be slightly above average this year with several little small pocket snow events. Um, so I definitely think you're going to see some snow this year in the Dallas Fort Worth area, uh, below average temperatures in the southeast, and you're just going to miss out on those fronts again. And then as these clipper systems, as these nor'easterns pull up to east coast, we'll see above average snowfall uh, for parts of Tennessee, uh, Washington, all those areas and where we have those coastal storms right off the coast where we have that warm water vapor, um, it'll have that mix over and kind of a changeover effect. But as we go inland, You'll have a blizzard set up and in the snowiest areas. Uh, we'll have that convergence zone up in the foothills of New York and Pennsylvania. Where we'll see 20 and 30 inch snow events at times and then well below average. Um, well, uh, well below average in parts of uh, Minnesota and uh, North Dakota and uh, Chicago area. So as we extend. As we extend, here's kind of an overall summary and how I think uh, this this uh, this year is going to play out. Um, so as as we kind of zoom in to the overall U.S. Uh, picture, it's going to be a little bit warmer than normal temperatures in parts of the Northwest, and then a lot pretty pretty dry and uh, in the West, and then it will have those cold blasts as we have those Arctic intrusions again uh, down into the foothills of Wyoming and Utah area. But as we extend down to kind of a mild feature uh, down to the southeast around the, the desert southwest, and we'll have those big temperature swings in Texas, where I'm thinking these Arctic blasts come through, we'll have those big temperatures 30, 30 degrees at night and 80 degrees during the day. So I'm expecting some big temperature swings in the, in the southern states. Um, and where we're making that transition zone, we'll have several ice setups of uh, ice and snow events for the United States around Arkansas, M Missouri, South Carolina, uh, Raleigh, Raleigh Dura area. And then we'll have that kind of a, a changeover effect in places like Atlanta, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, where we'll have that kind of a chilly, wet, wet pattern times, kind of a dreary, uh, you know, winter as, as this plays out. But as we as these systems kind of swing up in the northeast, we'll have those northeasterns uh, swing up the east coast. And again, like that convergence zone like I was telling you about um, of those 20, 20, 30 inch snowstorms of this blizzard conditions. And we'll have that cold, dry Arctic air filter in. Well, we'll have those again, those 40 and 50, not much precipitation with it, but we'll have those 40 and 50 below zero at times for parts of Minnesota. So these, how I think, you know, this is the analog years back from the 1950 of the end zone neutral years and how I kind of based this winter on uh, why I why I came up with my forecast. And if we go to the next slide, this kind of shows you from the 1960s of well below normal temperatures from 1960 and some of those analog years of 2014, 14, 15, and 1978, 79 are in there. And that much of the United States was below normal with pockets of normal conditions in the southern and southeastern states and of, of the Northwest. So I appreciate you guys uh, staying, with, staying with me for this long. And it was a long video. Um, I was serious. If you, if you uh, like and comment on this video, please put your city and, and state of where you live. I will give you a personalized forecast. Again, if you like weather related content, I'll do a lot more of these videos. So please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll catch you, catch you, catch me at the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.